culture at the new release of the new HP printers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited to bring this new technology to you guys and I hope you stay tuned to see what we bring sir. familiar with the old generation of flow devices. We didn't sell many of them, but I think you're familiar with, with what the speed, did. the power, and the performance of the new generation really comes to the fore uh, with the new generation. And it's all made possible with the new and enhanced high capacity document feeder. You'll see on the pictures, I don't think we've got a flow device here, but you've got that new and improved pull-out uh, keyboard. And then of course, I think Baz mentioned it earlier, the scan speed, 300 images per minute. And then also with the document feeder, you've got multi-feed detection. And that sort of helps with the feature. The work part is an ecosystem where you can download applications on the actual device and perform a task. So you saw earlier on, I was connected to OneDrive, I can connect to SharePoint, I can do my emails on here. So there's over 100 apps that one can actually download and put into these devices. So the one thing I always do is I ask the clients, what are you using Office 365? And most of them say, yes, we do. This is when I'm answering part of your question. Then you say to them, okay, fine. How do you scan to Office 365? What do they do? They tell, tell you, I take it, my MFP, I email it to my PC, I save the attachment, I then copy it onto OneDrive. And then I say, but hold on, I can simplify that for you. How about I just load an application on here which connects directly to OneDrive? or connects directly to SharePoint. Once I log into that device, it's exactly the same as if I was in front of my PC. I can go into my directories, I can create directories, I can scan into directories, I can see the actual files that are there, I can do a preview, and I can print them out. Okay, and then I'm gonna tell you another thing, okay, is that when you do go out and sell one of these products now, okay, you're gonna be selling many of them, is we're running a special up to 2024. Okay, so that gives you a couple of months. So find out from your clients, are you using Office 365 here? Yeah. How about I actually load this application of the test it for two months, see if you're happy with it, and then afterwards, if you are happy with it. Do you see what happened there? Reverse and retry. So if something gets jammed or it, it picks up two pages at once, it knows, it pulls itself back, separates the pages, and then pulls the function out. Yeah, 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 yeah. got to bring the guys up. Difference in speed between the two. So, quite honestly, it's like I say, it is chalk and cheese in terms of performance. So. If you had any customers that were complaining in the past, okay, you can tell them, listen, that's the Fiat Panda, now we're giving you a Ferrari. These, these are the specs. There's my Fiat Panda. My What's your customers? Do you have a security policy around your PCs and printing, uh, your PCs and networking? They'll say yes. Ask them, do you have a security policy around your printing? No, they don't. They should be treating this device in the exact same way. Uh, starting at 23 pages per minute, so we'll still have a 23. Uh, going then from pretty much the same spec of device, so 785 and 730 will be entry level devices. Um, all devices, base speed is installed, so you can deploy a unit without having to wait for a speed uh, now with the new devices. Uh, then direct replacement. Got a goal 
molten copy of our bias in all our devices. If anyone attacks our bias in any way, we automatically override it with a clean Our firmware, you can go and do a Google search, plain do on front panel of MFP, and you'll see on one of our competitors what they had, what they've done, is they took a firmware and injected the actual game called Doom there and updated that into the actual machine. You can't do that with us. Okay, it's whitelisted. It is actually code signed by HP. If you actually go and tamper with our firmware in any way, we will automatically reject it. We have, for example, runtime intrusion detection. It's almost like an antivirus running on the device, constantly monitoring the memory to make sure that there's no attacks. And the last thing that is up here is what we call connection inspector. How many of you received an email that says you've won a hundred million dollars? Click on this link. Okay, and then you click on that link, and what do they do? They load a bot onto your actual machine, and then your machine starts calling home, and then the hackers get in through that, uh, that actual bot over there, that connection. That's what we're looking. We're looking to see if there's any kind of ongoing activity from these devices that could be going on. Okay, and we're monitoring that as well. Now, when you look at this device in here, what do you all see? You see a printer, MFP. Yep. I don't. To me, this is a PC that can print. There's a lot happening in the background that you're not even aware of. Okay, you, you, if you actually read up, you'll find that you've got a computer that's checking everything at, in a hundredths of milliseconds, testing is 4.7, 10.1, 5.8, 5.8. Okay, then we talk about Quarter mile, 12, 21 second, 10 second. I mean, now you look at top speed, 164, 330. What is that? Two times faster. 3.1, 5.8, 10.8, and a VR 5.8. And the only reason those of the day are like that is because I was using a flow device versus a little 50 page from as you do scanning, scan to a folder, and you can see the difference of here when they come up. That's it, it's up already. And I remember what I was using here is an 877 which has got a 90 page per minute ADM, and I was comparing it to a flow device, which has got a 120 page ADM, and yet I still got it a lot quicker. This is WorkPath, and I'll touch a little bit on WorkPath, but WorkPath is the ability of loading an app on the actual device and performing specific tasks. The new ones are around about one minute, uh, and uh, we'll put it this way, 100 seconds, which is one minute 40. Okay, so it depends on how it goes, and if you actually install the SSD into it, at least just over a minute for boot up time. Yeah, this is possibly the biggest thing is where people are, were complaining around the actual processing power when you send multiple jobs down to a printer. So what you have is a lot of users sending jobs down to the printer and the printer was hanging. And you can see how the other one's busy waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, taking over five minutes to go. And while that was happening, I couldn't scan, I couldn't send an email, the machine was basically blocked. Okay, on the new devices, it's completely multitasking. So while it's busy doing that, I can do whatever else I want. If I want to scan to email, I can do that. If I want to scan to folder, I can do that. Okay, this is now going and physically releasing the job from the device. So a lot of people send the job down to the printer. You're replacing a 783 with a 785 based on the processing speed of the device. It is actually fast enough to compete uh, or to be placed as a replacement for those. So direct replacement 783 to 786, um, and then looking at the 800 series, well, let me start with the 700 series, the 725 direct replacement would be the 725 all the way up to 70 in mono and color. Uh, it does open a lot of doors for us, especially techers that had that 65, we just could never go in with a 60. Now we have a 70 that could address a 65 or a 70. Which is which is really great. So <laughs> with a mobile application and my mobile is on the 3G and I could browse what I need to do for example I need to copy I put the document here and I say straightforward copy and the multifunction will start doing the job which I want from it so it is copying now Roger is copying the document there is no server there is no maintenance just application the server in our side in Azure and you could use your mobile for all the kind of